Okay, I'm really starved. Where are you taking me? I'm not going to tell you. No one returns to tell you of the road wish to discover. We must travel to Omar Khayyam. Right? Wow, pretty impressive. I thought you only appreciated food and not poetry and philosophy. Well, you're partly right because it is food. Yeah, I know of a place. Yeah. yeah. In the middle of Chennai shopping hub, at the Pondi Bazar Usman Road junction, Omar Khayyam hides right below the flyover. It may seem like a small hideout with bright red exterior, but step inside and head to the first floor and you will find a surprisingly large dining hall. The mild green dome-like roof with a huge chandelier creates a calm interior for a perfect Ramzan feast. So, welcome. My kind of place. You're brilliant. Only at times. That's something you didn't know. <laughs> so, yeah, shall we order? Yes. You are hungry, aren't you? Stop. <laughs> this is like a reward. When you're, you know, fasting all day, you look forward to, uh, you know, eating good food. Now, South Vietnam, I am the Ambatit. Umar Kayam is a hotel. The car is a car. There is Indian food. There is a lot of 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 food. The place has an array of items for both vegetarians and non vegetarians. From starters like paneer pakodas and chili chicken to main course items like biryanis, tandoori and curry mean fry, the place has it all. If you are a fan of South Indian cuisine, Omar Kayam has idlis, dosas, rice and rasam too. For starters, the names that caught my attention were Archie's Varval and Vegetable Gold Coin. Chipran couldn't take his eyes off the chili chicken. Aachi surulengar itu, actually itu orang Cina ada favourite dish. Kali flower masala, Cina masala ambil untuk perempuan guru guna. Jadi orang orang Australia ni adalah orang favourite dana dish itu. Anjuran ada kapur orang vegetable gold kain bread itu. Anjuran vegetables, ada orang filling sosis, bread crumbs ada dust punya, air ada perempuan guru guna. Ada orang peanut sauce, orang god garlic sauce, segala macam guru guna. Ada orang kampung ni mana nalar guna. Can we give it like a countdown? Okay. Okay. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. We'll start with from five. It's two. Five. Four. Four. I think three is better. Three. Two. Three. Okay. Attack. <laughs> hmm. Actually, this tastes very much like a non-vegetarian dish. Perhaps because of the chetinad masala. It's often used only in a non-vegetarian dish. It's it's not overcooked. Surprisingly, because usually restaurants tend to overcook the meat. It's just bread. I can't find the stuffing at all. Lunch at Omar Kayam begins at 12 noon and continues till 6 p.m. That's a long lunch. The secret lies in its dum biryani, which has a number of fans. And no wonder. The kitchen starts to buzz from 9 in the morning, preparing the best biryani for customers. And if you step in after 6, you missed it. The restaurant does not serve dum biryani for dinner. But when the actor insists, can the chef say no? Well, no prizes for guessing what I ordered. What did you have? Vegetable biryani along with bundi raita and um, pineapple raita. Bundi raita and pineapple raita. Yeah. Why two raita? I like both. Nanga wanted dum potu rambra. Yeah, and the sapa say. Where I got a putta, Nikki, where I got a putta on a say. As 
because I savor the rasam that smelt and tasted of asafoetida, which I love the most, Gibran and I brainstormed about what to have for dessert. The menu listed lychees with ice cream, chocolate brownie, sundaes, and a lot more. After much effort, Gibran settled for carrot halwa, and I for gulab jamun. Of course, with vanilla ice cream. A nice dinner for two here costs between 200 to 250 rupees. Hey, that's mine. The rose syrup is actually very crucial to achieve that unique taste in a gulab jamun, and I think this does. Uh, my gajar ka halwa was good, but uh, the consistency wasn't great because the gajar was shredded too fine. You know, it has to be a little thick so you get that you know that crispy taste. Correct. It was. Crisp, 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 crisp. Yeah. Generally, Ramzan is about fasting, right? If I'm not wrong, it's yeah, all about feasting for you, isn't it? No, it's it's, it's uh, what happens is uh, relatives, neighbors, we all tend to you know send food to each other's houses. Mm. When you're sending food to other people's homes, you don't send the regular regular fare. You mm. uh, you go out of your way and send exotic food. You know what? I'm gonna have my own restaurant. I'm gonna start my own. Hmm. Idea inspired by the poet. Khalil Gibran. That's a good idea. Mm. And 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 in our restaurant, we could have poetry recitals being the order of the day. People wow. could just come in and recite poetry. And so I keep yeah. doing feeding frenzy every day. That also. You could come in and do your feeding frenzy, and then also like kind of pamper of some of the po 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 poets that come in and make them feel good. So you could sit and go ada ada ada. Yeah. And then I'll also order for a gulab jamun with, with ice cream. Ada ada ada.